Hello, my name is Julia Menzies, and I'm in my final year of graphic design at CBCC. I started this program in search of finding a gateway to a creative career. Ever since elementary school, art has always been my favorite subject. I continued to choose that as an elective until my senior year of high school. I chose this program because it took something I enjoyed and made it a skill to build a career off of. I would like to present some of the projects I have worked on over these past two years. We had the opportunity to work with real life clients these last two semesters. One of those real life clients was Conover Farmers Market. They wanted our class to design their rebrand. This included a logo, identity package, wayfinding signage, and other marketing efforts. The new brand mainly uses greens to reflect the farmer's market aesthetic. A sans serif typeface, simple icons, and classic colors have been used to create a timeless logo. These break icons were brought into the identity package in a pattern format. The business card uses the same shape as the logo so it can be fully expanded on the front. The wayfinding signage uses simple artwork to be easily recognizable and easily added onto. I also pitched matching the social media and the website to their brand for consistency. Where this project was focused more on simple, the next project I'm going to talk about is very detailed. The next project I'm going to be talking about is our independent project. We were able to pick any medium we wanted and a piece to either paint or draw. I love reading books, so I wanted to create a book lover's dream through this painting. I chose to work in watercolor because it's my favorite medium to work in. Spring is my favorite season, so I want to create a really warm, sunny day through this painting. Later, I expanded this into a multimedia piece showing off the tutorial version of this painting. One thing that I loved about our projects is that we got to explore so many different ways of design. The last project I'm going to be talking about is another real life client that we got to work with. Our class worked with CBCC's Red Hawk Esports team to design their new arena, uniforms, and marketing efforts. I learned how to work with Adobe Dimension. Adobe Dimension is a software that lets you build three-dimensional designs. From there, I worked on building my team's concepts within the software. For marketing efforts, I focused on social media marketing. For their social media marketing, I started with designing a content calendar. I did this by researching when the best times are to post on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. This research also went into trends of what other sports and eSport members were posting to be relevant inside their community. After coming up with this calendar, the content creation started. This content uses overlays and Photoshop effects to give that sports and eSports team aesthetic. Putting these two things together, their social media marketing was created. CVCC has really let me grow as a designer and explore all different types of design. You can keep up with my work at menziestudio.com and menziestudio on Instagram. I also am planning on expanding into different social media such as TikTok. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at my work. Hi, I'm Joshua Rodriguez. I am the owner of XJR Designs. This is my second year in the advertisement and graphic design program here at CBCC. I wanted to showcase three of my projects that I have worked on over the past two years here in this program. Starting up with CBCC's Red Hawk Esports. With this project, my team and I had to redesign their arena, create new jerseys, and come up with a marketing strategy. Within the arena, we have added a circuitry pattern on the walls. There would also be the addition of a backlit multi-dimensional acrylic Red Hawk logo that would be mounted on the wall. For the jerseys, we reduced the Red Hawk logo so it would be just a head, just making it a new icon for the team to use on their jerseys as well as a new secondary logo. On the back of the jerseys, we'll have the players' names, gamer tags, and program of studies. We added a, the circuitry element into the jerseys to tie in with the space of the players that the players compete in. For marketing, we have came up with swag and banners. We have created t-shirts, hoodies, and keychains. The banners could be used to market the esports team to get new players to join. For my second project, I want to talk about my app, TuneScout. For this project, I had to design an app interface that could help people find new music. TuneScout is an app similar to Tinder, but for music. This way, users can use the app to find new music to update their playlist. For the logo, I have created a microphone using the letters T and S. 
icons were created to be used throughout the app. These icons have rounded caps to stay consistent with the style of the app logo. For the color palette, a gradient was created using the colors purple, blue, and pink. And for my last project, I want to include my festival rebrand. I was tasked to redesign the logo of a local North Carolina festival. After doing some research, I have found North Carolina Blackbird Festival, located in Plymouth. The North Carolina Blackbird Festival is a festival to celebrate and teach others about North Carolina having the largest blackbirds. At the festival, there are car shows, a 5K race, live music, food, and so much more. For this logo, I have decided to keep the shape of the black bear. I have added a geometric element into the shape of the black bear. For the typeface, I have used both Crystal Lake and Cavalier Dreams. These typefaces were used for the boldness of the black bear and to give a friendly approach. Thank you for watching me and learning about my projects. If you would like to learn more about me and my projects, you can go to xgrdesigns.com or xgrdesigns on each socials. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Hi everyone, and welcome to Stephanie Alexis Creative Studio. I'm Stephanie Witron, part of the graduating class of 2022 from the Advertising and Graphic Design Program at Catawba Valley Community College. Welcome to my creative space, and thank you for joining me today. I want to share with you how pursuing my passion for graphic design is leading me into bigger and better things as a creative professional. I have a Bachelor's of Science and a Master's in Business Administration from Lenore Ryan University, located in Hickory, North Carolina. After these programs, I gained work experience in digital marketing and pursued graphic design to further my talents and skills. The unique learning environment is coupled with teachers who are dedicated to creating the next generation of designers. With many opportunities in the classroom and community, we learn how to work alongside real life clients to deliver quality work as designers. Being able to couple my business background with my creative side and passion for graphic design, I was able to bring into fruition 10 campaigns showcasing my talents in design, marketing, and creativity. This is a sneak peek of which projects are included in my design portfolio. For my first campaign, I created a three interconnected organization system that includes one organization notebook and two additional notebooks for college students that could be sold at bookstores. The theme for the notebooks is adulting is hard because we all know adulting really is hard. It includes a 2022 planner, a meal planner, and a budget planner, perfect for helping high school students transition into adulthood. The interior pages for the weekly planner allows individuals to set goals and track their day-to-day -day life. The meal planner allows anyone to create grocery lists, organize meals for the week, and plan meals for special occasions. The budget planner allows anyone to create monthly budgets, work towards a monetary goal, and even includes a fun coloring page so we can celebrate milestones along the way. This series highlights skills in page layout, book layout, iconography, patterns, and copyright. And being tasked to rebrand a North Carolina festival with an updated logo, brand guidelines, and website layout, I undertook this project with a Cape Fear Fair and Expo. The logo design features a cow, ferris wheel, and a carnival tent with a name tucked underneath. The brand style guide was created to match the new logo and brand guidelines help future potential marketing efforts. The colors are reminiscent of nature and the typography includes a fun atmosphere at the Fair and Expo event. The website layout is a landing page for the festival where visitors can learn more about what to expect and view past photos of the event. After looking into creative ways for a unique website for this festival, I wanted to ensure the website was a modernized approach to match the new brand. The layout was created on Adobe Illustrator and the assets were transferred into Adobe XD. The background is a soft, warm yellow gradient. The series highlights skills in designing a logo, brand, digital marketing, and website layout. 
The third campaign is the fourth wall drive-in. This project was a digital marketing case study that included developing a brand and logo, website design, email marketing, social media content creation, and creating a brand style guide. A social media calendar was created to coordinate the best times to post on each platform based on research and trends. The social media content was created for three months, including hashtag campaigns to further solidify the brand development. Assets were made for Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Digital marketing case study, along with the rest of the campaigns mentioned, are in my portfolio and can be found on my website with the rest of my campaigns. If you would like to see more of my design work, please visit my website, stephaniealexiscreative.studio, or follow me online at stephaniealexiscreativestudio on Instagram, find me on Behance, and connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you for listening to my journey and viewing my work. And congrats to the class of 2022. We did it! Hi everyone. My name is Tristan King and I'm a student here at CVCC in the Advertising and Graphic Design program. Today, I'm here to share with you all some of the projects I've been able to complete over the last few years, as well as how I came to graphic design. Now, back in high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do or what program I wanted to study. It wasn't until 2019 that I decided to take a screen printing course here at CVCC. It was then that a whole new world of design was opened up unto me, and I realized that this is the program where I wanted to be. CVCC has such a great learning environment where students can engage and think creatively. I'm very thankful to have experienced and learned everything that I have over the past two years and all of the memories I've been able to make along the way. The first project I want to show you is my magazine spread. This project started off with a theme of the history of artificial intelligence and graphic design. I was assigned to write an article, design its layout, and design a magazine cover. I started by researching different sources and writing a first draft, which eventually led to the finished article. Next, I conceived a layout design and researched accompanying photos for the spreads. Then I took this into InDesign and pieced it all together. Lastly, I designed a Photoshop composite that became the magazine cover. This magazine was designed to appeal to graphic designers and how AI is incorporated into their everyday profession. The next project is a festival rebranding campaign. The goal here was to take an existing North Carolina festival and rebrand it. The festival I chose was the Pickle Festival in Mount Olive, North Carolina. This project started with visual research, personas, and the logo redesign concept. This evolved into the final design. The campaign also included a branded style guide, wayfinding and advertising signage, digital marketing, and collateral, which included this screen printed t-shirt, which shows the screen printing process. This logo was designed to be very fun and family friendly oriented, just like the festival. The last project I wanna show you is the kombucha and Jun product designs for Catawba Farms. In this campaign, my team and I were tasked with designing new bottle labels, packaging, and advertising collateral to the accompanying new Catawba Farms drink line. From researching to brainstorming and concepting, my team and I created a design that represented the free form and relaxed nature of the kombucha and John drinks. The iconography was utilized to create an interchangeable and cohesive set of labels that could be customized to any flavor. This design was used for the labels, keg collars, packaging, and other collateral like t-shirts and tote bags. The packaging was also custom designed with prototypes built to show it in real life. Other collateral includes smaller tasting bottles, a tasting card, and free form shaped coasters. This design was presented alongside two other concepts, and I was chosen to be brought into production by Catawba Farms. In the two years that I have been able to experience the advertising and graphic design program here at CVCC, I have learned so much, and I'm very thankful for the amazing journey and the opportunities along the way. Thank you so much to everyone who has been there for me for these last two years, especially my instructors. And for anyone who may be interested in graphic design, my advice to you is don't worry. Take it one step at a time and trust the process. If you want to see more of my works, visit tkingcreativestudios.com. Thank you so much. 
Hello everyone, I'm Bailey Reynolds, a student in the CDCC Advertising and Graphic Design program. I'm more than excited to share with you what I've accomplished these last two years in the program. The first project that we were tasked with as a group was Catawba Farms. They are creating a new product line known as kombucha. My team drew inspiration from the kombucha market, which was vivid and fun. Our design style is very vibrant and vivid and has an array of colors and every design choice has a meaning and intention behind it. Starting with the primary shapes, these are very loose and freeform, which not only contribute to the fun new style, but also imply a resemblance to the scoby and bacteria, which is an ingredient found in kombucha. Located inside the shapes are various icons that each represent and give a reference to the process of making kombucha, as well as design elements pulled from the existing logo of Catawba Farms. Moving on to one of my favorite projects completed in the AGD program is the collaboration with eSports. Catawba Valley Community College eSports team needed a space that matched the uniqueness of the sport. My team was challenged with the task of creating new uniforms, a functional yet lively space, and extra collateral items. During this project, we partnered with other parts of campus, which included the Workforce Solutions Center to help build a 3D prototype of a keychain we were pitching. Using Adobe Dimension, we were able to create and design a fierce and functional space. The uniforms provide a striking appearance by the use of line work and a secondary logo pulled directly from the primary logo that was provided. This project provided a sense of community and teamwork to fulfill the needs of the esports team and space. During this project, I completed the 3D scale model of the arena space using Adobe Dimension. This proved to be more difficult than expected, but hey, I love a good challenge. Another one of my favorite projects was my app called Align. The project scope included creating an app that solves a problem and also has a prototyped version. Through this project, I discovered my love for UX design. Align is a personality app designed to curate tips to better the lives of the user, which are specific to the end user. The app features several personality tests to choose from to learn more about the person using the app and also discover tips along the way. The difference between Align and other personality apps is Align offers all-in-one testing options. End users also have the option to learn about other personalities as well, only after the user's type has been discovered. In the app, there are personality tests ranging from the Enneagram to the Myers-Briggs, which will provide a better insight into the curated tips. With the completion of more tests, the more specific and personable the tips will become. The app would work on a freemium basis, meaning it is free up front, but in order to access all different tests, there will be a charge. The branding of the app was inspired by the mind, body, and spirit. The color palette features an eye-catching lime green paired with cooler tones of purple and navy. The blue color is to provide a sense of calm and the purple is to create serenity and peace. Again, tying into the app concept itself as being motivational and uplifting. So I wanna say thank you to everyone for watching as well as a huge thank you to my teachers here at CBCC. So thank you, Ms. Cobb. Thank you, Mr. Tallman. Thank you, Ms. Radins. Thank you, Ms. Charles. And thank you, Dr. Carroll, for pushing us and ensuring that we achieve nothing but greatness. Hello, everyone. My name is Grace Moll, and I'm a graduating student at Catawba Valley Community College. And I'm studying advertising and graphic design through the advertising and graphic design program here. I am able to create projects that not only do with design and branding, but also production, user experience, and web design. As a graphic designer, my strengths lie in illustration and layout. My favorite part of any project is always the beginning. I love brainstorming and getting ideas on the paper. Projects with multiple parts that are well rounded are my favorite. Colors of Washington is one such well rounded project. The objective was to create a shop local event. This project required a map, information on the tour, icons, a logo, and more. Colors of Washington is a history and more last tour set in Tacoma, Washington State. The tour takes you through two museums, the Chihuly Bridge of Glass, and local eateries. 
This project allowed for a fun, colorful logo. Blown and stained glass were used as inspiration for the logo art in the colors throughout. The project required consistency. A consistent style was created for the brand to use throughout every part of this project, from the logo to the icon and so the map. Illustrator was used to create the logo and the map, as well as Photoshop to create mockups for the branded collateral. Another project that is well rounded and contains a lot of different parts is Pierce to Monkey Metal. Pierce to Monkey Metal is a subscription service for those who have an affinity for body drawing. The client needed something created for a specific aesthetic and target audience while still having a product that appealed to a large audience. The goal of this project was not only to develop a concept and a brand for a subscription service, but also to produce a physical box with content and other needed packaging assets. Die lines were created based on a physical box and then printed and applied to the box using vinyl. There was also digital marketing involved with Pierced. The website was created using Adobe XD and Hootsuite was utilized with posting on social media. Strong user experience and digital marketing were imperative in this project. This project was most this project was multifaceted with so much going into it from the branding, the style guide, and the physical production of the box. This program taught me so much from teaching me the technical side of the industry to helping me learn what I'm good at and what I enjoy doing as a graphic designer. Developing concepts and creating finished products are so rewarding. For more information about me, my website is graceartandco.com. For more about the advertising and graphic design program, visit cbcc.edu. Hi, I'm Joanne Albright from CBCC's Advertising and Graphic Design Program. Thank you for tuning in today. I would like to tell you a bit about myself and a few of the projects I have worked on while in this program. When I was in middle school and high school, I tried out many different extracurricular activities. I was eager to gain new skills, new experiences, and I enjoyed what I learned from each of those events. When I joined the AGD program, all those extracurriculars, they clipped together with what I was learning. It was like a puzzle. I hadn't even realized I was collecting pieces for it. It all worked together so well. I realized in graphic design, you're always learning about something new and gaining new skills. I realized it's what I was looking for in a career. Now, let me show you some of the projects I'm proudest of. For the first project, I had a redesigned logo for a festival in North Carolina. I chose the Heart Square Festival in Vail. I started by researching the festival and creating personas. During my research, I was inspired by a stained glass window in one of the wooden churches for my design. I took the logo mark from ideations to roughs to digital design using Adobe Illustrator. Then I added the logo type and a secondary mark. When the designs were finished, I made a style guide and created mock-ups for collateral. I submitted the project to the Adobe Certified Associate US Championship. I placed as a top national buying list against 60,000 design submissions by 44,000 contestants. The second project I worked on with my classmates Bailey and Joshua in a competition to the Red Hawk Esports team, where we designed uniforms, the Esports Arena, and additional collateral. I proposed creating a secondary logo reduced to a primary logo for the uniforms. I helped design the uniforms and the esports arena as well. I also figured out how to take a logo from Illustrator to Photoshop to Adobe Dimension and create a key chain charm. You were then able to 3D print it with the help of the engineering technology department here at CBCC. As we worked on this project, I found myself in a leadership position. I kept an eye on the bigger picture, ensuring we stayed on track with the project and that everything was flowing smoothly. I worked on most of the components, checking the details and fine tuning the pieces as needed. We won the esports competition. We were so excited. The esports arena is now under construction and the uniforms are ready for the upcoming esports season. The third product I had to create was a unique app to help solve the problem. Then, Have a Seat was born, a mobile app designed to reserve a seat on the subway. 
I start by researching information regarding map apps and subway systems for inspiration. I developed personas and storyboarding. After gathering background information, the app started as a hand-drawn wireframe and was then taken to a digital wireframe. And finally, a digital layout in Adobe XD. The app then became a responsive user interface. I presented the app at a school health chart game where I won second place. My time at CBCC has offered me many learning experiences and faculty have helped my knowledge grow. I have been honored by the opportunities this program has offered me to show off my skills and excel. Those are three of my projects, but if you like them, you should check out more of my work at RuckmanCreativeStudio.com. Enjoy the rest of the Vision Art Show and congrats to the class of 2022. We made it! Hey everybody, my name is Pablo Martin Becerril Osorio and I am a student graduating from the photography program at CBCC. I joined the program back in 2019 because I wanted to pursue my passion in photography. This passion didn't start until after I graduated high school and I found myself taking pictures of anything that I found interesting. When I first started shooting, I didn't have a camera. All I was using was my phone. The more I took pictures, the more I started to fall in love with the art. I did this for a while because I enjoyed capturing the moment and having it forever. Even after the moment was gone, I still had that image. That's what I love about photography. That's when I knew I wanted to learn more and get better at capturing these moments. And that's when I decided to go to CBCC. Here in the photography program, my knowledge with the camera grew tremendously even within the first semester. At first, I had no idea how to use a camera. And now, thanks to the amazing teachers here at CBCC, I know my camera like the back of my hand. Now I rarely ever use my phone to take pictures and when I have the chance, I'm always taking my camera with me. During my time here in the photography program, I've had an amazing experience and I've learned that there's a vast amount of different photography that can be done. From landscapes, to cars, to business headshots, to maternity pictures, there's a different passion in photography for everyone. My time here at CBCC was more than being in a classroom. I got to meet new friends who shared the same passion for the art as I did. I got to go out on lots of fun trips for assignments and even to photographic conventions that throw great parties. All these moments that I've gained, I will cherish forever. I can honestly say this has been the most fun I've ever had in school. Even when it came to the assignments, they were always fun because they challenged my creativity to make an image out of an idea. One of my favorite assignments I did was an assignment called More Aloha given to us by my teacher, Mr. C. We had to make an image where we showed a product being used in a location where you wouldn't normally see that product. It was a fun challenge because it really made you use your creative side to come up with these images and I had lots of fun making them. I will miss being a student here at CBCC because I won't be making any more memories. Instead, I will be out capturing the world from behind the viewfinder. I'm excited to start my new journey after graduating and I can't wait to see where my career takes me. If you'd like to see more of my work, just visit my website at pixelphotography.com. That's P-X-L. And you can also follow me on Instagram at pixel underscore photography underscore underscore. I am Pablo Martin Becerril Osorno and I am a photographer. Hello. My name is Jocelyn Rodriguez. What got me into photography was me being able to capture my baby girl day by day. To be able to capture his important milestones such as his first Christmas or his first birthday. But over the years, my passion for photography has grown tremendously. What started as just portraiture has quickly turned into a means of documenting a person or sometimes a product in their story. For example, this image was captured using a 100 millimeter macro lens and three strobe lights. One strobe light was lighting from the front, one from the top, and another lighting from the back with the diffuser in front so the light wouldn't be so harsh on the product. I also had various reflectors bouncing light back into the product. This is how I accomplished this high quality image, giving my client another reason to love her product even more. With the help of the amazing CBCC instructors, I am now able to feel more confident and powerful about my work. 
I have learned so much from them and I will always be thankful for this opportunity. One of my favorite projects I have done over the past two years has been my American Dream Book. This book is a representation of my family's journey here in the United States. I can relate to all images. This is one of the reasons I am able to be here today. This book also made me realize photography is more than just standing behind a camera and clicking a button. It's all about the meaningful story behind each photograph. I can't wait to see what the future has in hold for me. If you would like to see more of my work, visit my website www.yoselinphotography.com and you can also find me on Facebook at yoselinzavala.photography and also on Instagram at yoselin.photography. Thank you for watching and enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Chloe Scott and I'm a photographer. I specialize in fashion and concert photography. Currently, I'm studying at CVCC in the Photographic Technology Program, but in the fall, I'll be transferring to Appalachian State University. Um, there, I'll be doing the Commercial Photography Program. My time at CVCC has been very educational. I have learned so much from the instructors. Um, when I started, I didn't know really anything about the technical aspects of metering my camera or ambient and studio lighting or post-processing. Um, but through CVCC, I have grown so much and also learned what my own personal style is and kind of narrowed down what I'm really passionate about, which is fashion and concert photography. I have always loved fashion. Um, I love the process of styling and creating a unique look that combines working with a model and fashion designers and makeup artists to create whatever type of vision the artist has in mind. And fashion can be so diverse, which is something I love about it because it can create so many different moods and feelings just through clothing. So in the first half of my book, that's what you're gonna be seeing. Um, it was a lot of fun to shoot. One of my favorite photos that I think I did in this half of my book is this one. For this shoot, I used one Godox light set low and close to my model with no modifier. This is how I was able to create such a strong shadow right behind her. And I think it turned out awesome. I love this picture. Oh, in the second half of my book, I focused on concert photography. Um, most of the bands in my book are small local bands. A lot of them were based in Boone, North Carolina. Music can have so much impact in a person's life and be so meaningful to them for different reasons, whether it be the lyrics or just how it sounds or maybe the memories connected to it, which is something I really like about music. I love photographing these events because it allows the musicians and the fans to have a visual memory of the experience. And for those who aren't able to attend for whatever reason, um, it gives them a chance to kind of experience it in a smaller way without actually attending. One day, I would love to work with some musicians that maybe I even listen to, artists that I enjoy, and maybe even help with album covers or music videos and posters and things like that, or go on tour and photograph all their concerts. Photographing these events was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed being able to share my work with the artists performing. It gives them a chance to promote their own work and their own art and share it with their followers on social media or their website or whatever it may be. Shooting the concerts can be a little bit tricky if the light is really low, if it's like a nighttime concert, things like that. Um, so I had to be very conscious of what lens I was using, what camera I was using, just to make sure I got good image quality. For me, what I did was borrow a camera from the 
school and I was able to bump my ISO up just to let in more light in the images while also maintaining that image quality so it wasn't too grainy or anything like that. Overall, I'm really proud of how my book turned out. I really enjoyed shooting it. The fashion part was super fun and allowed me to be super creative. And the music part was really fun too. I enjoyed attending the concerts and sharing the pictures with the artists. I also really enjoyed working with the models and making them feel comfortable in front of the camera and making them feel pretty or confident enough to share the pictures with other people. And a lot of my models told me they really had fun shooting and they didn't think that they were gonna be comfortable, but I helped talk them through it and made them feel like they could really be a model. All right, thanks for watching. You can check out my Instagram if you want. It's Chloe Scott Photo. And there you can see some more of my work and things from my portfolio that maybe wasn't included in the video. My name is Valeria Ortila. I'm a lifestyle, food, and commercial photographer based in Statesville, North Carolina, but I hope to travel where you are. I will take you to see some of my images and how far I have come. I was born and raised in Colombia, South America. Moving to the United States when I was 13 years old was the biggest challenge I ever had in life. After several years and two degrees later, I decided I wanted to follow my dream of becoming a photographer. I wanted to help people capture the special moments. So I decided to enroll in the photography program at CVCC. Throughout these two past years, I have not only learned, grown professionally, but I have created memories that will last forever met people that play a key role in my education, people that have pushed me to believe in me every day. And with the memories created, I will look back and thank every single person that made this happen for me. One of the biggest experiences I had through this past two years was the opportunity to attend Imagine USA, where I was able to expand my knowledge about photography, but also met people that inspired to me to be better every day. What I love the most about photography is slowing down to take a step and freeze what is in front of you. I love that you can decide what you want to show. You are in total control to showcase your creativity. You can see it in this image, how I was able to take an orange and transform it into a photograph that can be used as an advertisement. It is hard to decide which is my favorite project when I enjoy photographing everything I can from a couple getting engaged to your baby's second birthday to photographing food. But I will say, my favorite photograph is the one that tells your story. If you would like to see more of my work, here's my website, valeriardilaphotography.com. You can also find me on Instagram as vales underscore that photography. After this amazing opportunity here at TVCC, I can't wait to see what the future holds for me. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the show. Hey y'all, my name is Phoebe Stewart. I'm about to graduate from the photography program here at Catawba Valley Community College. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer located in Taylorsville, North Carolina. I've always loved taking pictures of children and families. It has always been a goal to make people laugh and to make them feel more comfortable in front of the camera. The reason I love to take these kinds of photos is because children show real emotion and I love to capture that. The realness in these photos showed that not every child is the same. My favorite project from my time here is called The Diamond Within. This project was for Portfolio One and I feel like it really helped me get out of my comfort zone. This project is about the transformation of a man into a drag queen. When learning about this process, it really opened my eyes to a whole other world. My instructors and classmates have helped me grow into the photographer I am today. 
It's been an amazing part of my life getting to make memories in the time I've had here. I can truly say that I have made friends for life in this program. If you want to see more, you can go to my website at photosbyphoebe.net. You can also follow me on Facebook at Phoebe Stewart, and it'll have Photos by Phoebe in parentheses. You can also follow me on Instagram at Photos by Phoebe Zero. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.